progressive conservative Tory Rushton has won a seat in the Nova Scotia legislature. Rushton emerged as the winner of the Cumberland South by-election Tuesday, beating Liberal candidate Scott Lockhart, New Democrat candidate Larry DeChesney and Green candidate Bruce W. McCulloch. As of 9.30 p.m., Rushton had 2,495 votes, followed by Lockhart with 1,346, according to one official results from Elections Nova Scotia. DeChesney earned 231 votes and McCulloch had 201 in the Reading that includes Oxford, Hersborough and Spring Hill. Interim PC leader Carla McFarlane said in statement Rushton's win sends a message to the governing Liberals, people in Cumberland South need doctors, they need their roads repaired, they need better access to emergency health care, and they need more action from Stephen McNeil and his Liberal government, said McFarlane. They were clear tonight that they do not have trust in this premier to deliver on these things. Bailey forced to resign. The writing was held by former PC party leader Jamie Bailey until he was forced to resign in January following an investigation into his behavior, after someone came to the party with an allegation he had acted inappropriately. Sources told CBC News the allegation involved a female staff member in the caucus office. Party officials refused to discuss the details of their investigation. Former PC leader Jamie Bailey was forced to resign after allegations of inappropriate conduct. CBC, Bailey first won the riding in a 2010 by-election with 57% of the vote. In the 2013 general election, Bailey won by 771 votes. In last year's May election, Liberal candidate Kenny John Jackson lost to Bailey by 757 votes. Liberals had high hopes with the Liberals getting 40% of the vote in the 2017 campaign. Premier Stephen McNeil told reporters in May that it was a good showing of support for the party and an opportunity for Cumberland South to have a seat at the caucus table with the governing party. McNeil joined Lockhart on the campaign trail while showcasing the pre-by-election announcements of a new elementary school in Spring Hill and a long-awaited replacement bridge near Amherst. The liberal message was criticized as an old politics routine by both NDP leader Gary Burrell and Rushton, but McNeil said the school and bridge were not election issues and would be built no matter who holds the seat. The PCs now hold 17 seats in the Nova Scotia House of Assembly. The liberals have 27 and the NDP hold 7.